The only countries doing worse than us are countries in full blown war. Freedom come by struggle. Freedom come by struggle. By struggle. Freedom. Where's the freedom come by struggle? Freedom come by struggle. By struggle. Freedom come. We were deceived that we now have a bond again as a president of Nigeria, and therefore we should not use the word general. Mm. But I want to tell Nigerians today, in order to further confirm what Professor Wolesha Inka said, that we are back to our days, that today we have to restore from Mr. to general. Mm. So Nigerians can know that the person they are dealing with is general, yes, a yes. military dictator. Yes. So that Nigerians can know that it's not just an administration, but a civilian junta. Yes. So when they hear the word junta, and they hear the word a general. So they will know that indeed that human rights are under threat. Yes. And let me say, we have not gotten to a level where we have threatened dog and babu with soaking blood. Yes. We have not threatened a parallel government, where we, by, uh, which Amechi said. We have not threatened bloodshed, which Malam Erufai said. Yes. And the person who said dog and babu with soaking blood is, is, our, is the president's worry. Uh -huh. yes. And we have not even gotten to that level. The people today who have locked up have only merely criticized them because of what they did wrong. Yeah. And we want to tell them that there was yesterday, yes. there is today, yes. and there is going to be a tomorrow. In this country, we are no longer safe. In this country, we are no longer free. And in any country which practices democracy, where one of us is not free, then all of us are not free. Are not free. Yeah. If the freedom of one of us is taken away, mm. then the freedom of all of us has been taken away. Yes. And so we must make it very clear to Tyrant Buhari and all his cronies that we, the people of Nigeria, will not be cowed. Yes. That the voices of dissent in this country will not be subjugated. Yes. Mm -hmm. That our clamor for freedom will not wane. Yes. That it wouldn't matter whether they mobilize 100 people against us or they mobilize thousands of people against us, we will stand regardless of our numbers to say that enough is enough. Yes. We will stand regardless of our numbers to condemn tyranny in every way possible. Yes. What is the reason? Why deploy more security than even the protesters? Yes. Look, at, look at the number of security people that are here. Pathetic. Soldiers, police, yeah, army, yeah, everybody's yeah. here. Yes. Why, why, declare, why, why deploy so much security for just... How many are we? Yes. Why, why all this intimidation? What, what for? This is done so that we can we can cower, we can become afraid, so that we'll keep quiet and we'll not come out. Never. Never. This government is a joke. Why criminalize protests? The civic space in Nigeria. I don't I do not know why anybody will criminalize the civic space in Nigeria. Why will anybody say protest is a crime? Why? Only in terrorists. Why? So our headsmen are killing all of us. Exactly. If if the bandits in Zamfara can be threatening police officers right inside government house, and, and the police officers are clapping, and the government is clapping them up. How much more peaceful protesters? Mm -hmm. How yeah. much more? So we, be, so we begin to ask ourselves, what kind of a country are we trying to bequeath to our younger children, yeah, our younger yeah. generation? We are a country as if we don't have our history. We don't know where we are coming from. We don't know where we are going. As we speak now, before the end of this protest, you will have heard of the number of people killed in another state in Nigeria. This is not normal in any country. The only countries doing worse than us are countries in full-blown war. Yes. They are in full-blown war with other countries. Nigeria, we are sitting here, we are dying in our numbers. Today you are alive, tomorrow you may not be. And people will move on because we are used to it. People will move on because no value has been placed on the life of any Nigerian. Your life is worth nothing as long as you are a Nigerian. This is not the life you signed up for. This is not the life people fought for. Which way? Which way? The final thing I'll ask for is freedom for Daddy Atta. 
We do not even know where Daddy Atta is. Yeah. His family spent Sala without him. Yeah. Freedom for Stephen Kefas. Yeah. Stephen yeah. Kefas has spent over 90 days in prison. Yeah. He was abducted from Port Harcourt. Yeah. They have been using the apparatus of state to keep him without bail. Yeah. Freedom for Yele Showare. Yeah. Freedom for Abiri Jones who won a case against the government. Yeah. The government has not paid him. They have carried him again. Yeah. Freedom for those who are at the state level but do not have national coverage. Yeah. That have been taken. My name is Indicato and I have spoken.